Hi, Mr. Diego. What's your favorite food in Mexico City? That's a great question, Chloe. First of all, I'm a sleepyhead. I sleep all the time because I'm not working very much. Anyway, I would have to say the most common thing here that I like is tacos. And they're not like tacos in the U.S. where there's this crispy shell. They're soft tacos made from a tortilla that's made from corn. But I think my favorite favorite is a gordita. And it's not like a gordita that you'll get at Taco Bell. Completely different. It's basically a corn tortilla, which is small. It's fried in oil. Then it gets opened up and then stuffed with stuff while it's warm. And then you can eat it either by hand or you can like use utensils. And I'm gonna leave the house in an hour or two and they're sold everywhere in the streets and I'll send you a video or photos of what I'm talking about. And when you order a gordita, you order it with whatever meat you want and cheese, sometimes potatoes. So there's different types of meat. Of course, you can get it sometimes with chicken or different types of beef or different types of pork. Um, there's all different kinds here. There's so much variety. It's all very greasy. It's not super healthy, but it's the gordita itself isn't very big. So it's, it's not a lot of food. Um, so it's super tasty and always with cheese, of course. Uh, and, and they always also have different salsas, different sauces. And they usually have at least a green one and a red one. And you can choose whichever one you want or both. Sometimes they're spicy, sometimes they're not. Okay, so there's the oil, that's super hot. They put the tortilla, which they make right here from corn. They make the tortilla, they put it in there, they fry it, it comes out like that and it's already got some stuff inside of it and then they'll open it up and stuff it with whatever you want different meats I know it's hard to see with the plastic all kinds of different meats cheeses hi Mr. Diego today's my birthday did you know it was my birthday have a good day Mr. Diego Hello, Chloe. I did know it was your birthday, but I forgot to send you a message. So, happy birthday. I'm sure you're having a big time awesome party. Wish I could be there, but I'm far away. Do you have any special questions for me that I can answer for you on your birthday? Do you want me to send you a video of tacos? Diego, um, yes, I do have a question for you. How do they celebrate birthdays in Mexico City? And also, um, do they do snor snorkeling down in Mexico City? And what type of ice creams do you eat in the air? And, and you <laughs> You're a p So I think birthdays are pretty much the same, but there's something that's very common. You probably have heard of it, I'm guessing. That's piñatas. Obviously, piñatas are super common because they're Mexican. So, I'm sure you know what a piñata is. If not, you can look it up. Uh, let's see what else. Um, snorkeling. Mexico City is not close to the ocean. So, there's no snorkeling here. But there is snorkeling in Mexico. In the south, near the southeast, near the Caribbean, there's a place called Cancun and the water is very clear and there's a lot of snorkeling, a lot of amazing colorful fish. But here, I'm in a big city, so there's no water. Okay, so the type of ice cream, what's really common here is something called paletas. And all they are are like popsicles, but they're bigger and they're made of ice cream, not like, you know, popsicles are like cherry flavor and they're, they don't have cream in them. I don't know if that makes sense. But here, it's like, imagine a popsicle, but made of ice cream. Kind of like a magnum. Do you guys have magnums there? Kind of like that. So they're called paletas. So in my neighborhood, there's a place called Paletaria that sells just a bunch of different ones with all the flavors of ice cream. 
Oreo flavored, strawberry flavored, vanilla chocolate coffee, everything flavored. And they're really good, like, like giant popsicles. And you can dip them in chocolate, that gets hard. You can put like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, almonds on them and stuff. In fact, I'm looking at a place right now. I'll send you a video. Right there. Paleteria. This is a very sad moment. The ice cream place, La Michoacana, it's closed. COVID! Ah! Milkshakes. Okay. Paletas. Uh, Here's ice cream. Hi, Mr. Diego. What, my name is Gracie. What type of wild animals do you see in Mexico? You know what? That's a great question. Now, I live in Mexico City, which is a giant city. So there's not many wild animals. But one time I did see something that was, imagine this, a cross between a raccoon and a cat. But we don't know how it got here. Somebody must have brought it here and it must have escaped and we saw it climb up a tree and run away. However, in Mexico, in the south part of the country where it's jungle, there's monkeys, jaguars, and alligators. And dolphins, also. Hi, Mr. Diego, my name is Maeve and I'm wondering, um, what is the most common dance in Mexico City? So first of all, Chloe, love your hair. Wish I could do that with mine. And second of all, to answer the dance question, Mexico City is a huge city, kind of like New York City, except everyone speaks Spanish. Can you guys see that? Big buildings. So basically traditional dances are more what you would see in nightclubs, like electronic music, um, even Latino music, salsa, merengue. But outside of the city, in the more regional areas, they have traditional dances. For example, my friend Estela is from a region called Veracruz, and there they have the national song, which is La Bamba, which we all know. Steve will play it for you if you don't know it. And they do traditional dances to the song, or their variation of the song, La Bamba. Hey, Mr. Diego, what do you do all day at my link shoot when people aren't taking pictures of you? That's a really good question, Chloe. I'm actually leaving the photo shoot right now in the back of an Uber, obviously. So, when it's not my turn for photos, I'm changing clothes first. Um, then I like to watch and support the other models, and sometimes I learn things from them like different poses that they use, and I'm like, oh, that's a good pose. I wanna try that, so it inspires me. Um, I also talk to the people who do the makeup and the people who do the wardrobe, and I, you know, I know a lot of them, so we talk about life and stuff. So, I just basically observe and try to learn. So, Diego, how do you manage to keep your weight so slim? We'd like to know what you take in as your daily supplements and nutrition. Okay, so the secret to my diet is basically the only carbs that I eat 
are fruits and vegetables. Not that exciting. Hi, Mr. Diego. What's the best dessert in Mexico City? Well, look who decided to drop in. <laughs> well, to answer your question, churros. Duh. You know what? Actually, I should modify that. So churros, and then a close second, or maybe tied, is bunuelos, which are like a round, really thin, fried bread bathed, good word, in canela, cinnamon, and sugar. Yes. <laughs>